Addison Hello guys, yeah, what's up? My name is Addison296. Welcome to the video and welcome to this uh, channel. Um, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Uh, well, feel free to check out some videos first and uh, subscribe. I'm sure you'll like my content. I spend a lot of time making it, so it's uh, pretty good quality. But um, yeah, that's plug over. Um, I'm back. Um, sorry for being away for, you know, um, about a week or so. Uh, I dropped a few subscribers in a week as well, but I did have one point where I had 580 odd views in a day, which is the best I've ever had, so thank you very much for that, guys. And what we've got up here is Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier. And uh, this is just a modification section. Just thought I'd show it off and uh, all the different things you can do. And uh, yeah, all the different attachments. Apparently it's over 5 million, I think it says on the on the blurb at the back. Let me just have a look. So I've got the box here and it says customize your weapon. Oh yeah, you can customize your weapon with Connect. Over 20 million combinations, not 5 billion, whatever I said, I don't know. 20 million combinations make it unique, which is uh, yeah, pretty good. So um, 12 player adversarial mode. You've got three classes, four modes and 10 maps with unlockables on. Uh, it's a third person shooter. Um, it's released uh, by it was published by Ubisoft and um, it's released on obviously PS3, Xbox 360 and both on PC. Um, and it's the fifth um, installment in the Ghost Recon series. And I've played all the others before and I thought they were excellent. Um, just like the uh, Sledgehammer games, I think it was uh, 10 Hammers or something like that. Great game back on the PS2 and uh, that's when I first started gaming these games, so yeah, fantastic. Um, I'm just reading a, a bit off a couple of different websites here just to give you a bit of information about it. Um, it's the uh, fifth installment in the Ghost Recon series, as I've already said to you, and uh, it's obviously a, a, a third person shooter which is quite different to what I usually show. I usually show BF3 and uh, COD, and obviously they're first person shooters and quite a bit different. So yeah, it looks really nice. You can spawn on your teammates or on a base, just like in Battlefield 3. Um, this guy's in combat at the moment. Now I can spawn on him. There we go. And you run from cover to cover. It's got a cover system like Gears of War 3. Um, or you can sprint. And the maps are beautiful. They're... I don't know if they really big this up a lot, but the multiplayer is really nice, really smooth. Um, the maps look really, really nice. I don't know if my, uh, I don't know if this is a, what is it, 380p? I'm bloody uploading off my iPhone at the moment, but there's a nice kill. Oh, kill assist! Oh, come on! I see this. I see another guy up here as well in a minute. But yeah, 380p. I don't know if it's doing it any justice, but um, it is a really beautiful game. So um, yeah, excluding expansions, Future Soldiers, the fifth installment in the Ghost Recon series, and it was announced to be in development by Ubisoft on January 22nd in 2009. The game has a futuristic take on the Ghost Recon series. The campaign has settings such as Nigeria, Pakistan, Russia and Norway and I've played the campaign and they are they're, they're amazing. The squad um, squad work that you do uh, where you, you know what, what you do is like say you're approaching an, an area you'll throw a recon um, grenade down and that just um, maps out all the people, you can see them through the walls like those red people there like, before I died. And uh, you'll mark them like on the Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell um, Conviction, if you've ever played that, you mark them with the right button. And you can do it with four people, oh this is taking really bad cover here. You can do it with four people uh, and one of them is yourself and basically wait for your teammates to line up their shot and hold their shot and you stick your aim on the fourth guy, or you can pick, say for example, if there's a guy closer to you and your teammate's on it, you can uh, aim at him and then your teammate will uh, advance up and uh, around. The reason I'm not shooting these guys is because I've been EMP'd, so they're not is I just can't see their name because I'm EMP'd. And that's actually a uh, gameplay mechanic in multiplayer. This guy's an enemy I don't realise, I'm wondering if he is or not, I realise he is, because I see him on my map, and I'm down. <laughs> well, I am now, so... Yeah, um, body ragdoll mechanics, pretty good. I've been lobbed uh, right into a grenade before and um, blown to smithereens. Well, you don't get blown to smithereens, but you know what I mean. But yeah, they're really nice, really good gameplay mechanics. There's a nice enemy kill and a kill from cover. And I can't see what else it said, but 
yeah, um, you get lots of different bonus points, just like in uh, Battlefield 3. Um, what else can I say? Let me have a let me have a look at. Uh, so, let me just skip down to the multiplayer bit. On uh, actually, no, I'll give you some. I'll give you some reception. Okay, so Recon Future Soldier had this uh, has received generally positive reviews from critics. Some reviewers like IGN have. Uh, like IGN have praised the game's more thoughtful approach to cover based shooting, scoring the game an 8.5 out of 10. GameSpot gave the game a 7.5, praising the lengthy campaign and multiplayer, but criticising the AI and the combat. The game was married by a of many bugs in the game, uh, but I haven't noticed any of them because I've had a patch as soon as I did, so that was pretty good. Um, yeah, I've not had any patches at the moment, which is pretty nice. So multiplayer, um, yeah, the multiplayer has various uh, multiplayer modes, including cooperative and co cooperative game time. Future Soldier, Future Soldier f features a fully cooperative campaign, as well as a new wave base mode called Guerrilla, which is also available as a single player mode. So you've basically got a, a four player co-op um, campaign. I think it's four player. Don't quote me on that. Might only be two. But I'm sure it's three. Uh, sorry, I'm sure it's four. And I've been talking way too long non-stop. I've been talking non-stop for six and a half minutes now. Um, yeah, so uh, I picked four players. And the guerrilla mode is basically um, Call of Duty Zombies or survival mode from COD or horde mode from um, Gears of War 3. Um, yeah, that, that's basically what that is. Uh, and in multiplayer, the game types are conflict, decoy, saboteur and siege. Uh, and I've just been playing Conflict, I think. It's like Domination in Call of Duty. One's a bit like Search and Destroy and stuff like that. But hey, that's the end of the um, gameplay. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And uh, take care. I'll see you later.